Raisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a first impressions review of the new Althea Korea Powder. Petal Velvet Powder. Ayan. So, si Althea Korea, subscription box siya na nag-offer siya ng cheaper price for other Korean brands like Etude House, Misha, Laneige, and all other Korean brands. Maraming brands offered sa Althea Korea. So, it is a good buying option if you are a Korean beauty fanatic just like me. Skincare-wise and makeup-wise, I love Korean products. And maganda na meron tayong Althea Korea here in the Philippines. Because they offer the products at a cheaper price. Pero, walang sariling items si Althea Korea before. So, they just offer um, items from other brands. Other uh, Korean brands. A lot of Korean brands. This August, Althea Korea launched its own product. Product na nakapangalan K Althea. Just look at it, you guys. So this is their first ever product. This is the Petal Velvet Powder. This packaging reminds me so much of their um, packaging. Like it is super identical. Then ito talaga yung mukha ng Althea Korea. It is a um, like a velvet touch body. When you open it, it comes with a puff with a high quality puff. Ayan, meron siyang puff and then meron siyang sticker right here. Of course, meron cap, uh, sifter. Ayan. Hello, beautiful. Please remove the sticker before you use. This product will retail for 210 pesos. You will get here 3 grams of product. So the color is translucent. So this is a translucent powder. And the claims are, the first claim is it is long wearing. So this is a makeup setting um, powder that is long wearing. Ayan. Meron siyang micro fine particles and soft, smooth texture. Third is it has natural and cruelty free ingredients. And fourth, it is um, pore blurring and it has sebum control. So if you are an oily gal, ayan, ito ay magiging um, perfect for you because this uh, claims to control the oil sebum. Again, hindi ko ako makakagawa ng um, full day review right now kasi nga gabi na ako nagpe-film. It's already 8.41pm. But sa weekend, I am scheduled to film a um, first impressions all Korean brands. So, isasama ko to dun and um, make sure to check that video out. But I'm sure mauna tong video na to. Right now, I'm just going to give you the details and my first impressions on this item. Kasi feeling ko kapag sinama ko pa siya dun sa first impressions ko ng Korean brands, nagiging masyadong haba yung video na yun. So, I'm just going to do a separate video for this. This is what the package looks like. Meron siya ng Popori, hindi ko alam ko anong tawag dito, pero yung mababango na usually nakalagay sa altar. <laughs> Ayan yung mga parang dried petals and all that. It smells, it smells nice. May um, rose petals and other other flowers on it, pero definitely floral, floral scented. And then binigyan rin kami nitong, I love the scent of this. May siyang citrusy something, ayan. Right, dried citrus fruits right in there, which is also in this powder. Kaya sila nag-include yan. Pasensya na kayo sa buhok ko, guys. And we have the little Instagram card right here, which says I love my Althea Petal Velvet Powder. It's so silky and velvety on the skin. Just look at it. It's so cute. And as I've said before, the packaging is nice. I really love it. It looks like the Althea Korea box. It reminds me so much of the brand Althea. So the branding is definitely there. I love the branding. Meron siyang... Matinding. Oh my gosh, kaamoy niya itong mga to, guys. Super, kaamoy niya itong mga to. Ayan. Florally, um, citrus scent naganap dito sa powder na to. But right now, I'm just going to apply my um, makeup. As you can see, I have a bare face. So I'm going to use my tried and tested um, primers and foundation. Para ito lang yung maiiba sa, sa mga gagamitin ko. Just so I can um, gauge kung ano talaga yung effect niya sa aking skin. Just going to apply my makeup off cam and I will be back. So this is what my current situation looks like. Ayan, medyo weird ang aka-itsura kasi ako yung nag-apply lang ng primer, foundation, and concealer. I just use, again, my Hangover X Primer from Too Faced um, Photo Focus Foundation and my Too Faced Concealer. Lahat ng to ay um, tried and tested ko na. So these are my favorites. So we'll see how this will work with our new powder right here. I'm just going to use the puff to apply this one. Sana wala tong white cast because this powder only claims to be translucent. So I have high hopes that translucent talaga tong powder na to. So yeah, we'll see. I'm just going to um, apply it under the eye. Again, um, wala pa tayong nilagay na powder. As you can see, I'm very, very luminous. Nalagay ko na kasi dito. So I'm very luminous right now. So we'll see if this will mattify the face. Matindi yung kanyang um, scent. So if you are someone bothered by the scent, just take note na meron silang... Um, floral scent. I think because that's the natural ingredient of the product. Bake. Ayan. 
Tingnan natin kung magbibake. Sana wala tong ano, sana wala tong white cast kasi ang dami ko nalagay. I'm going to blend. Ay, ang ganda. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if you can see, but it's so velvety smooth. Sobrang smooth. And definitely, nawala yung aking shininess. It is now matte. does not settle on my lines, does not settle on my dry skin. Meron ako may dry skin ako dito. It does not settle at all. It is super, super smooth. As in, hindi ganito kasi yung gamit ko kasi na loose powder is yung aking Michado um, Final Powder. Final Powder in Creamy Glow. Yun yung aking usually ginagamit na powder. And uh, that works fine on me. Pero ito sobrang smooth. I haven't really tried anything um, loose powder. Kaya wala ko masyado idea sa mga ganito. But oh my gosh. For the pore blurring effect, meron pa rin ako nakikita ang few pores. It does not really blur out my pores. Pero definitely, dahil nabawasan niya yung pagka-shiny ng aking face kanina, so medyo natakpan din yung pagka-luminous um, ng aking mga pores. So, dahil nga na-matify niya yung aking face, medyo natakpan niya yung mga pores ko. Ayan, so medyo hindi nag-illuminate ang aking pores. I like it. So medyo, medyo may konting white cash siya. So just remember, if you are going to use this, use it with a light hand kasi a little goes a long way. Kaya siguro kahit maliit yung powder na to is magtatagal siya. I'm going to put some on my neck. Ayan. Para lang maset din natin yung neck. Pinawawala naman yung pagka-white niya. Si Ipar's powders, it tends to um, cake me out. Pero ito hindi naman siya. It does not settle on my um, dry patches. Medyo, medyo may ganitong effect yung um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Press Powder. Parang ganun yung effect niya when it comes to um, pore minimizing and uh, mattifying my face. I really like it. I really love that powder. And this is cheaper. This is worth 210 Oh, by the way, guys, um, Altea Korea is, I think, available on COD, so cash on delivery. Yun, kung hindi kayo komportable na magbayad sa banko or sobrang hassle kasi na magbayad pa sa banko and um, fund transfer and all that. So I suggest you, yeah, you order via cash on delivery. Right now, I'm going to apply um, blush para malaman natin kung paano ba yung wear ng other products on top of this um, powder. Just going to use the hourglass blushes. Going to um, mix these two shades right here. Tap it off. Going to apply blush. Yeah, wala naman ako naging problema sa blush application. It applies really smoothly. And it layers well. So this powder won't interfere with the other um, products that you will use. I really like the finish, you guys. I think it really did minimize my pores right here. Ayan. That's so velvety smooth. Use some highlighting stuff in here. I'm going to try it. Ooh, so well naman. I'm just going to apply a lip balm for my lips kasi sobrang dry ng aking lips. So, final thoughts on this powder. I really love it. Um, the blush, the highlight, really layered well on this powder. And hindi rin ako nahirapan i-apply siya on top of my um, foundation and concealer. Walang tagging na ganap. Walang, walang hassle sa paglalagay. So, ulitin ko guys, meron siyang strong petal and citrus scent. Kaya kung sensitive kayo sa mga amoy na ganun, just take note. And meron siyang konting white cast right here. And as I've said before, it might fade within the day kapag medyo pinagpawisan. So, I'm going to test this within the week and I'm going to use this again on sa ating Korean first impressions review just so we can see within the day kung paano siya mag-wear. But, first impressions wise, I am so impressed with the pore minimizing effect and the blurring effect and yung kanyang velvety smooth touch. I really love it. It did mattify my skin. Mattified siya na parang hindi siya masagwa tignan. May pagkasatin yung kanyang finish. So it's not matte matte but it's 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 like a velvet yeah it's like a velvet finish that that makes sense. So that is my thoughts on the new Petal Velvet Powder of Altea Korea. This is their first launch. I'm sure maglo-launch pa sila ng mas maraming Korean items. So um, I would just like to congratulate Altea. Altea has been very supportive of my channel and I am so proud na nakapag-release sila ng sarili na lang brand. So sarili na lang makeup items. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to give me your thoughts down below and subscribe if you haven't already. See you on my next video. Always remember, be beautiful, be you. Bye. What's the yellow? I have the driest lips. Hi guys, Risa here. I'm going to go.